Here is another RSS to email solution. Looks much simpler, but the problem is you're not in control. They can glue on any advertisement and you don't know what kind of ad your visitors will be served. The answer to this is to create your own RSS to email solution. The Pimp's SEO blog has an article on this. He uses PHP 5. The built-in simple XML only works on PHP 5. But my web host only supports PHP 4. I'm going to use a standalone version of simple XML found in phpclasses.org. Okay, I'm in my web host now. I'm using an FTP drive instead of a standard FTP client software. You can find the software on killprog.com. I warmly recommend this software and I don't believe he is a killer. Okay, let's play with simple XML. Here is a simple test script. So I'm trying the script now. So this is the tree structure of the simple XML object. Okay, let's start code the RSS to email script. I want to use this class. Using a simple function would be convenient. So in this case, it would be best to have the same behavior as if I were using the built-in simple XML, only found in PHP 5. Okay, the keyword of my blog. There is one problem copying from websites. For some reason, the string characters get fished. So we have to fix that. I would like to grab five articles. Now we grab the feed and we have to fix the string characters. So the script will load the feed with this URL using this URL encoded keyword. So let's see what the feed object contains. And I do this with the print r command. So if I run the script, I get this dump. I would like to have a cleaner dump. So I'm going to use a script called php dump. To find php dump, you enter reallyshiny.com and you get redirected to this site. Scroll down to the old php dump and Download the file. It's a txt file. Rename it to PHP. Include PHP dump and then enter dump feed. So now I'm refreshing the page and you get this output. Much cleaner in my opinion. Let's loop through each item. It has the structure feed channel item. So all this output is a feed object. And then it access the channel object. And in the channel object, it access each item. And this is the item object, and this is each item. So in every loop, you can access title, link, description, publisher, creator, and date. Now we add the limitation filter of five items. Every time we send an email to Blogger, we pause 10 seconds. Let's clean up the code and remove unnecessary variables. Another problem with copy paste from the web is that you get space character. So you have to remove them. Let's go through the next code part. Clean up the code. Now it's time for the mail code. We are sending to your blogger email. So I'm going to use my email. We add the headers. And clean up the mail code. Let's fix the counter. Initialize the counter. So let's try the script. So it will sleep every 10 seconds. And I'm pausing the video so you don't have to wait. Some crappy Unicode characters is included. So we have five items posted. Let's see the result and the refresh. So this is the result. It's not a good idea to post everything at once. You see the time here, not realistic. So this is the end of the tutorial. 
Thank you.